Welcome to the metropolis, the big city. This is where tech, trends, and culture meet. Meet the people. See the sights. Walk the city streets and experience the lifestyle. This is your first class ticket to the cities of the world. Moscow. Time to visit Moscow, the heart of Russia. The city of Moscow represents both the Russia of the past and the present. It is known as a city that has inspired authors and poets for being the center of the Soviet mystery during the Cold War. Moscow has over 10 million residents, consisting of mainly ethnic Russians. It has been heralded as one of the world's most expensive cities, being an international business center. Many global corporations have set up corporate branches in Moscow. The closer to the center you stay, the more expensive accommodations in Moscow will be. If you're on a budget, it's recommended to stay outside of the city instead. The Moscow Kremlin is located in the heart of the city making it the seat of Russia's government. Tourists in Moscow today have the privilege of seeing the architecture even back during the reign of Ivan the Terrible, such as St. Basil's Cathedral. These serve as signs of Russia's history, from how the Tsars once ruled over it as the president does today. Moscow is also home to the greatest writers of Russia. Many of them lived in the capital city. Some born there, others died there. These legendary writers all left literary masterpieces to pay homage to. Many Russian author museums can be found in Moscow that tourists will definitely appreciate. In Moscow, you'll also find the Tretyakov Gallery, which is the city's cultural treasure. It is considered the world's most important museum of Russian art, featuring the masters Repin, Vrubel, and others. There's also the Armory Museum, which features a special collection of jewels, crowns, thrones, and carriages from Royal Russia. The Armory State Diamond Fund preserves these important symbols of Russia as a Tsardom and an empire. Moscow is also known for its intense winter season, lasting for until April. Summers can be very hot, but still bearable. Fall begins early, making May to September a good time for a visit. A tour around the city is also possible via commute. Moscow's metro system is fast and efficient inexpensive and easy. The metro stations are in fact attractions in themselves. That way, you get around the city in convenience and style. Jakarta the huge, sprawling metropolis that's the capital of the Republic of Indonesia. It is home to about 9 million people. It is located on the northern coast of Java and has expanded through the years, absorbing many villages in the process. You'll know the names of these villages from their main streets. Together with its many suburbs, Jakarta has become a megapolitan city. Jakarta is a conglomeration of villages known as Kampungs, now crossed by main roads and superhighways. The city itself lies on a wide, flat delta, intersected by about 13 rivers. Popular is the Bay of Jakarta, with its large number of tiny islands, called Pulau Seribu, or the Thousand Islands. It is a tourist resort for swimming and snorkeling. 
Nearby are also popular volcanoes, Gede and Pangrango, with cool, majestic mountain resorts located around it. Jakarta is also considered the only seat of the national and provincial government. It is the political center of Indonesia and the hub of its national finance and trade. Because of this, Jakarta has evolved into becoming a dynamic city, often abuzz and full of happening. The city is also lauded for its gigantic malls. Marble-floored and always grander than your typical shopping centers, Jakarta's shopping destinations often have apartments nestled on top of it for convenience. Imagine just going down from your room to shop. One of the most popular is the Manga Dua District. There are around 173 malls in Jakarta alone, each with a reputation of their own. You go there not just to shop, but hang out at the indoor cafes, restaurants, karaoke bars, or billiard lounges. In Jakarta, prices are also relatively cheap, so you can eat to your heart's content. Most recommended are its duck confit, the nasi goreng, or the nasi padang. Restaurants are also managed by young owners, mostly in their mid-twenties. As a result, the vibe is always modern and fresh, and these food spots usually have comfy couches, hit music, and impeccable service. Restaurants are just for dining, but for staying and chatting for hours, even the whole day. The movie theaters in Jakarta are known to be one of the most luxurious in the world. Santiago, Chile's capital center. The city offers tourists with a bevy of museums, theaters, restaurants and bars, as well as events and entertainment. Santiago de Chile is also located at the country's center, making it a convenient springboard for when you want to explore the rest of the country. What's unique about Chile is that it allows you to ski and be on the beach at the same time. This is due to the capital's location, nearing the mountains and the Pacific Ocean too. Such a treat to be skiing nearby Andres and enjoying the beach as well. Santiago is fast growing and has about 7 million inhabitants in its metropolis. What to do in Santiago? Of course, there are the hikes and mountain climbs. The city, after all, is surrounded with many mountains for such activity. You can go for a simple day trip or try hiking up the peak and ski down too. The city is also great for wine tasting. There are many remarkable winery and vineyards around Santiago. There are also tours in English and Spanish for your convenience. You may also opt to explore the city via a walking trip. There are many parks, historical sites, and places for shopping. There are parks that give you a beautiful view of the city. Some up the mountains where they offer cable cars for you to marvel at the city below you. There are also botanical gardens, zoos, and swimming pools for the whole family to enjoy. Plaza de Armas is the main plaza, where you'll find the National Cathedral and the main post office. You may find spice and food stores around, and it's great to get to know what else they offer. Try dropping by during the day. The National Cathedral is where the beloved state of Our Lady of Mount Carmel is located. It's a breathtaking neoclassical style building, with several interesting spots and views. It houses the crypts of many bishops, has several altars, and has the tomb of statesman Diego Portales in it. Access to the cathedral is free too. For the ultimate shopping experience, visit the Mercado Central. It is the city's thriving hotspot, with stalls that sell food, especially fresh seafood. Plus, there are lots of restaurants around to choose from. Need entertainment? 
There are lots to see. Jazz clubs, theaters, and dance concerts are scattered throughout the city. Make sure to catch one during your visit. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, dear capital city of the United Arab Emirates. It's an orderly, industrious city that's situated in a convenient waterside location. Abu Dhabi has definitely made itself a bustling center for government and business. Travelers have gone curious to see what else is in store in Abu Dhabi. Probably the most popular attraction is Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. The place never disappoints. It is clad in Macedonian marble in all its beautiful and mammoth landmark building. Its exquisite design hails from Fatimid, Ottoman, and Mameluk elements. Definitely a modern mosque that pays homage to Islamic architecture. Around the city are districts of old majestic buildings. One of the very famous ones is the Al Hassan, the oldest building in Abu Dhabi. It is also called Old Fort or the White Fort. The palace was built in 1793 to serve as a home of the ruling family and seat of government. One of the most recommended places is the Women's Craft Center. Here, you'll see women demonstrating their expert weaving, embroidery and basketry skills. And not only do you get to witness how these products are done, you can also buy and bring them home as souvenirs. Then of course, in every city is a perfect spot to get the best view. Abu Dhabi has its own observation deck too. See views of the skyline from the Jumeirah and Etihad Towers Hotel, the highest point in the city. And finally, for a glimpse of the city's natural beauties, there are zoos to visit such as the Emirates Park Zoo. You can spend the day learning about wildlife and see rare white tigers, giraffes, and elephants here. There's a flamingo park, a monkey zoo, and sea lions too. There's also the Yas Island, often frequented for sunbathing. There are stretches everywhere on the sandy beach. It is also where the Yas Marina Circuit where Abu Dhabi's Formula One racing takes place every year. Or maybe you'd prefer the Liwa Oasis. It's got sand dunes offering activities that make the perfect break from the city. Go camel trekking, sand surfing, or ride dune buggies. And for a much rather chill activity, try the boat tours. It's also one of the great ways to view the city. It's great especially when you're watching the sunset or dusk set over the city. Vienna The city of Vienna has a lot to offer. There's the classical music scene, the historical site, its famous architecture, and its rich culture of theater and performances. Many also like its slow-paced city lifestyle and unique old city charm. Inside the old walls of Vienna is a place teeming with young energy, vibrant creativity, and experiences waiting to be explored. What to do in Vienna? Start your trip with a relaxing activity and choose to stay in one of its many coffee shops. Back then, the students and great philosophers were churning out bright ideas in these coffee shops. Today, you can simply cozy up with light reading or go people watching. Breathe in the city air as you enjoy your melange or cappuccino. Vienna, in fact, is also known for its sweet desserts and cakes and many many must-try delicacies. One of the popular Viennese dishes is the Eitrik, which is a hot sausage with cheese that you'll find in many stands around the city. Looking for bars and clubs? There are many located in Vienna. Whether you want to dance the night away or settle for light drinking, 
you'll find specific establishments that cater to the pre-drinking hours, to high energy dancing until the wee hours of the morning. And everything is within walking distance too, so it will be a blast going club hopping with your friends. The city of Vienna is also greatly known for its busy districts, peppered with ancient and historical buildings, architecture and design. There, you will find market stands that are surrounded by structures, boasting intricate exteriors. There are also a string of restaurants and interesting boutiques nearby. Meanwhile, the metropolis isn't short of greenery too. A lot of tourists visit Vienna to see its green scene. You can even go to the countryside for some homemade food and wine. The community in Vienna is quite active, leaving you with a lot of things to experience every day. When it comes to shopping, you'll find a place specifically for organic bread, veggies, fruits and spices. There are huge flea markets all over Vienna too. If you're lucky, you might chance upon one of the many festivals or events held in the city. It could be about a cause or a festival, a sporting event or a film showing. Walk through Vienna and explore freely. It's the best way to get lost in the city. Taipei Popular tourist destination Taipei has burgeoned into a rising metropolis. The capital city has about 7 million residents in it. And the city of Taipei has a lot to offer. An exciting destination, head over to Taipei for its night markets. Sample its fantastic food offerings. The local cuisine merges the best flavors from mainland China, Japan, Beijing, and many others. And the night market is the place to try it, for an affordable price and a unique experience. Most of the stalls will also sell Taiwan's best culinary treats in bite sizes, so you can have a taste first. Food aside, there's also the Wu Fen Pu Market that's a good place to buy retail goods. It's where tourists go to buy souvenirs to bring back home. It's also nice to wander around here and take a good look at the unique products being sold. Next are the karaoke hotspots. The Taiwanese are actually fond of karaoke, and they like to do so while sober. In Taipei, you can rent a room, buy drinks and food to enhance your karaoke experience. The red light district is one place to try the karaoke, located in Wanhua district. Then of course, there's Taipei 101. It was once deemed the tallest building in the world. It's always a breathtaking sight once you've climbed to the top and marvel at the views surrounding you. The lift going up is remarkable too, for its incredible speed. If themed restaurants are your thing, Taipei is a great city to explore that. The concept restaurants may sound a little bizarre, but the unique themes are what make them popular. There's an airplane-themed one and another inspired by hospitals. There's a Hello Kitty Palace too and many, many more. Taipei is also a great place for a good hike. The city, after all, is surrounded by natural escapes. Just get your backpack and hiking shoes ready, and you're good to go. Meanwhile, you may also try their hot springs. Most of the locals visit these on weekends to relax and unwind. They also believe that immersing oneself in hot springs will give you a lot of health benefits. There are many public hot springs around the city. You must experience a tea ceremony to know more about their traditions. Tea ceremonies are an important part of Taiwanese culture. Miami 
If you would hear that the city of Miami gets an average of 3,200 hours of sunshine, you'd probably head over to the city in an instant. The winters in Miami, in fact, are sunny too. Because of this, Miami has become known as quite a cheery city. Aside from the endless sunshine, there are many other reasons to explore the city. First are the beaches. A laid-back and easy-going city, you won't resist its beautiful beaches. Each one has its own characteristics, advantages and attractions. The popular ones are the North Shore Park Beach, Crandon Park Beach, Golden Beach and South Beach. And of course, with the many beaches in Miami come the exciting water sports. More than sunbathing and swimming, you must try other activities as well. Most beaches are equipped with the best developed facilities for you to be able to try the water sports. There's just so much to do. You can try kayaking, jet skiing, parasailing, scuba diving and deep sea fishing. Tourists also like to take lessons on windsurfing and parasailing. Then there are also the Everglades, or the tropical wetlands just right outside Miami. Lucky if you'll spot an American crocodile and Florida panther. It's a great place to see, observe and experience nature closely. When visiting the Everglades, head to an alligator farm to enjoy an alligator show. This is truly a one-of-a-kind and thrilling experience. Knowledgeable experts will teach you how to handle these creatures of the swamp and show some simple catching techniques. What can be more exciting than feeding an alligator and taking a photo with him? Miami is also quite an artistic city. It has become an excellent destination for esteemed artists and art galleries from all over the country. It's also notable how Miami's museums and art galleries aren't the usual stuffy and intimidating types. The place's friendly ambiance allows visitors to really learn about the arts. Other interesting destinations in Miami include The Lincoln Road, a place for upcoming artists in the 80s. Today, it's where you can shop for cute things. There are chic bookstores, cafes, and yes, clothing stores for you to see. It's time for us to go! Pack your bags and get your tickets ready. And we'll see you on the next destination. Catch us again next time on Cities of the World.